Whoa, listen to that! Yeah, and if we can reunite with them, we'll find a way out of here together. Epic music, guys, epic. That's the spirit. I had no reason to believe that any of what I just said. I was probably delirious, to be honest. But I knew that if I didn't act, I'd start to go mad. I'd start to scream. I'd be inconsolable. So in desperation, I put on the strongest front I could manage. What the fuck is that? Character introductions. Direct the eye towards any character and press the action key to learn more about him or her. When you're done, exit the door on the southeast side of the room to resume play. Why am I a floating eyeball? What the fuck? I don't want to know them. I want to read. St I want to read the. <laughs> I'm a floating. I look. I got huge veins throbbing, huge throbbing veins. <laughs> All right. I guess we'll just start on the road with this. The sister, right? Yuka Mokita, age 14. Satoshi's little sister. Though she's an eighth grader at Kasigari Academy Junior High School, she looks and acts much younger. In the Mokita household, Yuka's always been the princess generally getting her way and thus never really shredding her childlike behavior. Despite this, she learns to grow up, often attempting to act older or braver than she is, and this often gets her into trouble. I'm a giant eyeball. Psycho Shinohara, age 16. A free spirit, she often says or does things that takes others by surprise, though she's also easily forgiven due to her genuinely good nature. Her mother disappeared three years ago, leaving her with three younger siblings and a working father. As such, she basically serves as the head of the household. Psycho seems to regard Naomi as a kindred spirit, and the two of them frequently have long conversations about their ma many dreams for the future. There's more girls than boys. That's a good ratio. Naomi Nak Nakashima, age 16. A student in Kisigari Academy Senior High Classroom 2-9 and a classmate of Satoshi's since junior high. They like to scissor. Often, frequently, greet Satoshi with, Oh, not you again. Having lost her family a few years back, Naomi and her mother now depend on one another for moral support. Still, she remains optimistic and cheerful. Her home life has given her interest in nursing, which she's intent on pursuing. She spends her time studying, aiming for acceptance to a medical school. So she likes biology. Satoshi Mochita, age 17, a student in Kisigari Academy Senior High School Class 29, has had sex with all the girls in the classroom. Fairly average, but popular, known for being both kind and cowardly in equal measure. Despite his timidness, he's very personable and open, which complements his general sensitivity towards others and makes him a natural leader. The one person to challenge that leadership is Naomi, who is consequently the only one whom Satoshi regularly defers judgment. I wonder if this is important to read these or not. Miss Yui Shishindo, an 11th grade English teacher at Kisigari Academy High School. Just starting the semester after passing her teaching exam and is eager to make an impression. Though not a perfect instructor by any means, her unjaded zeal and enthusiasm are infectious as she allows the male boys of the classroom to study her body. And her students seem genuinely responsive to her methods. <laughs> Also serves as a teacher assistant during homeroom class 2-9 and really seems to have connected with the students there. When she's in charge, all eyes are on her, always, because she is never wearing panties. Yoshi Kusinara, 17, students, often guard is sarcastic and cynical, but as far as he's concerned, he's just being honest. Although generally not one of the participating events because he is the class pervert, his fondness for Satoshi Naomi means he'll make an exception now and again if either is involved. With intense drama at home and being beaten by his father nightly, Yoshiki currently works part-time after school to afford rent on a small apartment where he lives alone. He's a 17-year-old that lives alone. And finally, Ayumi Shinozaki, 17. The appointed representative of the Kisigari Academy Class 2-9 often subjects her classmates to ghost stories, teaching them black magic and how to play the Ouija board and revels in hearing them scream as she cuts them open, because she's sadistic. 
It's generally believed that she carries candles and other horror goods with her at all times, <laughs> like a nine-inch long butcher knife, just in case an opportunity presents itself to use them on her friends. In truth, however, Ayumi wears his reputation as a mask to hide her own fear of the unknown, which rivals even Satoshi's in its intensity. When faced with a truly scary situation, her knees give out, panic sets in, and she pisses herself. Only a personal pride can break out of this fear. Induced state. Okay, that's enough. I wonder what was that all about? Come on, Naomi, let's go. Okay. Okay, I'm... I'm oh, shit. I tried to walk through the thing and the floor fell out from under me. Uh, hey, Naomi. Huh? Is something wrong with your legs? Oh, yeah, I was freaked out. I forgot all about it. I think I might have sprained my ankle. Well, that's not good. Will you be okay? Yes, bitch. I said it's just a sprain. I can walk at least. I'm surely heal on its own. Yeah, but you shouldn't push yourself. Here, lean on my shoulder, okay? Okay, thanks. Now reach in behind me and grab my butt. What? It said the shells are overflowing with long black hairs. What the fuck? The shelves are filled overflowing with long black hairs. Why? Why are there long black hairs <laughs> in the shelves? That's weird as shit, guys. Right, I guess we just leave. Yeah, there's nowhere else to go. Wait a sec. Eek! Another earthquake! Where's my Joe Pudding Pops? No! Is it over? Whew. I've had enough. Let's just get out of this room. What? What's wrong? This hallway looks totally different than it did before. It does actually. Maybe the earthquake made the floor more more of the floor collapse. Y yeah, maybe. There's a yellow fluid congealing inside the rusted bucket. Ew, piss. What the heck is this? P? Don't copy me. Ew, don't say that. Look how, like, perfectly cut the floor is. Almost like you can jump across it, but it won't let me. The gap is a relatively narrow era. It, narrow here. It seems collapsible, crossable, but just a little too wide to risk jumping. Yeah, I knew it. So maybe somebody else is able to jump it. Classroom 1A. What was the point in going back in here? There's a loose board laying on the ground here. Take it with you. Um, sure. I just took a loose board. Acquired loose board. Does that mean I can make that gap now? I can jump that gap? There's one down here and one up top. Let's go to the top one first. See? The gap is... Can't risk jumping. Hey, what about the loose board we found? You think it would support our weight? Like a bridge? Hmm, I don't know. Seems kind of beat up, but I guess it is pretty solid. Try it. Loose board has been set in place. I made it. Can I pick it back up? No. Let's see what that sign says. Can't read it. Okay, we got a doorway. And another doorway. And that's it. Let's go into the big room first, I guess. What? Help! Help! Me! Huh? Did you say something, Psycho? Huh? It, it 
it wasn't you? I definitely felt a presence of some kind. Okay. The stairs beyond this point are piled with rubble. There's no way through. Okay, so we're not using the stairwell, apparently. We got two ways to go. We got this door and down. Classroom 2A. Oh, bones. That's lovely. Ow! What's wrong, Naomi? Look, over there. Aren't those bones like people bones? Game's about to get fucking creepy. Eek! What? what? Why? Why is there a dead person here? Wait, let me look at them more closely. Maybe they're not real. Nope, don't want to look at them. I'd rather not. Let's just leave them alone. Rows of dead bugs are neatly arranged on each shelf. Oh, that's not creepy at all. Heavenly Host Elementary. Notice to all faculty and students. I'm going to kill you. Well, <laughs> that is one hell of a notice. <laughs> what the fuck? They really are somebody's bones. No! Wait a scare. Psycho? You too. Eep! You two are new victims, are you not? A g g ghost! W w who are you? I was brought here against my will and confined just like you. Where's here and confined? 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 Do you mean there's no way out? I'm afraid not. This school exists in a reality all on its own, cut off from the world you know. So why have we been brought here? They brought you. They're constantly bringing new victims into this school. Sinless innocents, one after another, all trapped in here, doomed to live out the rest of their days in this hell. Who are they this is a cursed multi-dimensional nexus multiple planes of existence all piled on top of one another created by powerful vengeful spirits closed space or perhaps closed spaces you and we as well are the unlucky victims of their twisted whims we have all been abducted. Closed spaces? Indeed. And it seems you two are not the only ones who have been brought here. I'm sensing numerous others. What? Does that mean everyone else is here too? Are they okay, I wonder? So our friends are in this school too? I don't know the exact number, but I do know that others were pulled into these spaces at the same time as you. They're definitely in this school. Oh my god! That's such good news! Naomi, they're here! We're not alone! We get to die together! That means Moket is here too. I bet that makes you feel a lot better, right? You can have sex in the haunted school. However, you cannot meet them. They are definitely in this school, but the space they occupy differs from the space we occupy. If you wish to see your friends, you must find some means of entering their space, or bringing them into this space. Even then, escape is nigh impossible, but at least you'll be able to die together. Mm, so cheery. Oh, oh god, is there no, no way out of here then? You said we 